Um, I've been on my diet for a week. Well, tomorrow will be a week. Tomorrow I'll do my weigh-in. I haven't weighed at all. Now, last, last Friday I weighed 200 and, no, last Thursday I weighed 287 pounds. I feel like I'm lighter. I don't feel as bloated, but I've been running on about a 14 to 1500 calorie a day uh, diet, and so far it's not been bad. You know, I get some minor cheating a time or two. You know, I pass some chocolates that was laying on my daughter's bed and little dove chocolates and I did snack one of them the other day and, uh, and she had some fine fried pork skin I snagged two or three of them one day but for the most part and this morning now, for some reason, I don't have, my appetite's not that strong, really, you know. I mean, at first I wanted to eat all the time, but now, like this morning, I thought, well, I'm going to have a cup of coffee. I'm going to have a bagel, egg, and cheese, and salami sandwich, and a small raisin cinnamon swirl bagel dipped in my coffee. And I had to force that whole sandwich. I I was about to lay it aside. No, I don't do that. I'll go ahead and eat it. So I ate the sandwich, but I didn't eat the bagel. I'm still on my coffee. Uh, so I'm not really starving. I, I think I feel better. Oh. Uh, but, it, you know, it's, uh, well, we'll just see. I don't know what to expect. But I, I fully intend I want to get to, I would love to get 200 pounds. But if I can get 210, I'll be a happy camper. My wife would be so proud of me. Bless her heart. Anyway, my scrapping, I'm, I'm only going to scrap on the bicycle, well, I'm, I'm planning two days a week, Tuesdays and Fridays, that's trash day here in the neighborhood, and I'm setting me up a route, and I'm letting neighbors know that I want any kind of scrap they have, cans, aluminum cans, uh, broken electrical appliances, small TVs, anything like that. Anything I can get a little micro scrap out of. And and my goal is not to, uh, I'm not going to try to run to the scrap yard every few days because that gets expensive. And what I plan to do is... Uh, Maybe once every couple of months, I will go rent a U-Haul pickup and haul a load and make it count. Uh, but anyway, that's the plan. That's the plan. I brought a couple items home yesterday that my daughter don't know about yet, but. She ain't gonna know about them unless I elect to tell her because she can't see them. And um, uh, what it was, it was two end tables, very nice end tables, and they had glass tops that kind of fit in an inlaid deal there. 
but the glass on them, I never seen tops, glass tops with cut designs in them before like these was. So I didn't get the tables, I got the glass. I don't know why, but I just found them interesting and I liked them. But I may decide to go back and get the uh, tables, but I'll have to take my tools with me and take, you know, get the legs and everything loose where I can fit them in the car. But, whew, I'm sleepy. It's only, well, it's 10 minutes to 6 a.m. And I have to say, a lot of these new people I've been meeting, I say meet, I've never met them face to face, but I feel like I've met them. Um, these are not run of the mill. I always saw the scrappers as kind of on the lower side a little bit, you know, because that's what you saw, you know, you saw somebody pushing a cart with a bunch of stuff on it, stuff like that, and I never seen people I call, I don't want to call them normal because most of them I think are exceptional people, uh, I just got this one new subscriber yesterday, uh, uh, I subscribed to their channel I don't know, two or three weeks ago, Scrap and Pallet Man told me to check them out, and I did, and I liked them. It's a husband and wife and a little baby, and they, they don't, I don't put this without offending somebody, they're, they're great people that they're, they're you know that they, they're just good family and 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 they got these dreams and the lady is very enthusiastic she's almost to the point of being so enthusiastic about it i'm like is this real or is she just acting for the camera uh but i think it's real she's genuine and I was kind of reading into this. I've been been watching their channel, and I kind of reading into it. She seemed to be the be the leader of the effort, or whatever you want to call it. That's the way it just come across. And then as I got more into more into some of their earlier videos, I seen that he wasn't into it. Like she was. She was the one who got into it. She eventually got him into it. And now he's wholeheartedly into it. And I, I've never been that fortunate to have anybody to scrap with me or have any interest in it other than to be ashamed to let people know that I'm out picking through trash and stuff. Um, my wife could have never, her health wouldn't have let her done it anyway. And my daughter is no way. She, 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 she'd be happy. I never drug up another piece of trash. Most time when I drag something up, I have to, I have to sneak it in. And but I was getting a big mess out back, and I had to straighten that up. And I pretty much got it straight now. I just about got it all done. I got rid of all my woodworking tools. I don't do any woodworking anymore because, with my help. My health's not really, really bad. I'm diabetic, and I have a balance problem. And working around them tools and saws and stuff was just, just taking a risk that I don't need to take. So now, I don't. The only scrapping I'm doing now is when I'm going somewhere and I see something. If I'm there, and I get it, I get it. I don't make a trip especially to go get something uh, or go look for scrap. You know, like I might be going to the doctor or I might be doing going to the grocery store and I see a piece of scrap. I'm getting it. 
if I'm sitting on the bench down at Publix drinking a cup of that free coffee, and there's an aluminum can laying there on the sidewalk, and I can reach it, I'm going to get it. Matter of fact, I'll even walk a couple of steps to get it. It's one can, but it takes one can to make, you know, you keep adding to it. Pretty soon you got a hundred. So I, I just look at it that way. If you're there, you get it. And don't leave it just because it's one. Or it's not worth fooling with. That's baloney. But anyway, uh, this is just going to be a quickie video. Um, but I got to thinking about when I was 14 um, in 1954. There was a neighbor. I, at that particular time, I was living with my mother and my stepfather. And there was a neighbor's house that I passed every day walking to school. We walked about five blocks to school. And they had this <clears throat> bright, uh, bright Irish green 1927 Model T Ford. sitting there. The top was all ragged. It was convertible. And I don't know how long it had been sitting there. And, and the wheels, the wooden, you know, and the wheels have wooden spokes in them. And those was all painted red. So it, it was a sight. And I seen the man out there one day and I was telling him how neat that car looked. Boy, I said, that's really neat. You know, I really liked it. Nice, could I get in? Yeah. And he said, Do you want it? I said, Well, I don't have no money. He said, Well, I'll sell it to you for $20. And you don't have to give me nothing down and just pay me a dollar a week. And at that time, that was very feasible because I was making $20 a week pedaling a bicycle delivering prescriptions for a drugstore. So, I said, but I don't know how to drive. He said, well, push it. So, I got two or three of my friends together and one of my little brothers, <laughs> and I mean, he was little, and without checking with my mother or my stepdad or anything, we pushed that sucker home. Because you couldn't crank it. Uh, I don't expect it to run. It, you had to crank it. You had to crank it over like that and set the magnetos on it and all that stuff. And we pushed that green monstrosity home. And pretty soon, we was pushing it back. Because my mama and my stepdad, no way that thing's sitting out here. I don't care if it's free. So about the third day in, I had to push that thing back. Ah, if I had that now. I don't guess there was much desire for them things in 54. Of course it wasn't all that old, you know, it wasn't like, let's see, 27, 37, 40, 25 years old. And, but I'm going to put a picture of it, in, uh, not of that car, but one like it. But that's what it was, zero down, one dollar a week. <laughs> I was proud of that sucker. I had a girlfriend, her name was Diane, and she'd come over, 
and we'd get up in that back seat of that sucker like like we was going somewhere. <laughs> we'd sit up there and every once in a while I could steal me a little kiss, you know. Of course, I now that I think about it, she was doing the stealing. And she was more forward than I was at first. <laughs> anyway, we thought we was some. But she was a good girl. I liked her a lot. But apparently I didn't like her enough because I had gotten two tickets to the schoolboy patrol dance they have every year at the armory. One for me and one for my girlfriend. Well, Diane was my girlfriend. And she, uh, she wouldn't go because she didn't have no formal dress or anything or formal gown. And so I'm thinking, man, I got these two tickets. I ain't letting them go to waste. I'm going to dance, and I'll find me a girl that's got a dick dress that she can wear. So I found this other girl I was friends with, but she wasn't my girlfriend. I didn't particularly like her. her name was Sandra Skelton. And she had a formal evening gown, you know. And so I took her to the dance. And what I should have done was went over to Diane and sit with her that evening to heck with the tickets. They didn't cost me nothing anyway. Somebody gave them me because they couldn't go. It was like a dollar a piece or something. But I went to that dance with her. And plus... I think we started to do one dance and then we got off of something else and I never I never even seen her no more that night till it was time to go home. And there we went. It was about ten blocks to the armory to where we lived and there we went walking all dressed up and and I can't remember what the hell I was wearing but I, I, I don't think I had anything formal. But I didn't care, I was going. And there she was in that nice evening gown and us walking them 10 blocks home. Because my parents wouldn't come get us to bring us home. And it's just like night, you know. I never let no kid of mine out like that. But, it is what it is. I, I was very fickle, I was very um, flirtatious, I don't know, but <laughs> I wasn't the best boyfriend to have, but anyway, I'm going to put a picture of that car in this thing, I just want to do a little quickie, because I had not been doing, I've been wanting to do one a day, but till I get everything straight, you know, with my bicycle and uh, some other stuff. I got some projects I'm working on that I'm going to be videoing that uh, I'll be doing the next week. Yeah, next week I'll be working on those. So. But I appreciate everybody that's been subscribed and I hope I'm kind of holding your interest or something. And by the way, the name of that uh, name of that uh, channel that I was telling you about, it's free is better 86. I guess I'm giving them a shout out, not that it'll help them a whole lot, because I ain't got but 55 subscribers. But, um, uh, I, I really like them. I really like them, and I got this other couple that I really like, Chris and Holly Show, um, they kind of have the same situation. Um, 
I uh, got a little boy, you know, just turned one. Um, but, you know, I've, I've got several people. I've met some incredible people on on this YouTube thing. I'm really impressed with, with what uh, uh, the caliber of people that I'm meeting. I, I'm, I'm, I'm like, these people are scrappers. So... You know, so I don't feel nowhere near as ashamed or inhibited about scrapping as I did because I thought it was kind of on the low side, you know. But it ain't low side. I, I predict one day scrapping is just going to be the norm. You know, if you're out, you don't have to go scrapping to just to find scrap. But as you go along, See something. The damn can land there, you get it. And throw it in the pile and, and come back in a year and you got a big pile. Just like saving your change. Anyway, that is all, folks. Have a good day and I've got a busy day coming up. See if my remote works. Does, I'll disappear. If I don't disappear, it don't work. It worked. <laughs>